So final day and we're just having a, a Sunday pub roast lunch in uh, London and everyone's heading out tomorrow uh, back to their homes all around the world. Yeah, it's been a crazy two weeks. It has. I think, um, you know, we're really making an effort to, to cram in as much time with the mentals as possible before yeah. everyone flies back. Yeah. They've come from all over the world, as you say. And so it's been quite a hectic sh schedule, maximizing yeah. the time with everyone. Yeah. Is it always this intense, <laughs> you know, as a trader? I mean, life as a trader, it's, it's, it's not as intense as this. I mean, we're on a business trip here, okay? So like, <clears throat> we've obviously had a really hectic schedule with conferences, all the mentors flying in from everywhere. Trading life is very different. Um, tra trading is actually a very simple lifestyle. You have to cut all the crap out of your life because really your personal life has to be empty. So you can actually make uh, very well informed decisions over and over again, multiple times. If you think about it like this, if your personal life is really hectic or your business life is really hectic all the time, it's going to affect your trading decisions and vice versa, actually. If you have an extremely complicated, very hectic trading lifestyle, uh, then it's going to affect your personal life. So your personal life, your trading life need to mirror each other. And decision fatigue is a big thing in the industry that you need to avoid because it, it, it creates uh, scenarios where you can make bad decisions and it can cost a lot of money. So every professional trader knows that you have to absolutely have a personal life that's simple and a, pers and a trading life that mirrors your personal life and vice versa. And uh, you know, you look at all these guys, the mentors, you know, in real life, they've got, you know, very simple lives. Uh, you know, guys like Raj, for example, how does a guy uh, become the head of options trading at Bank of America by the time he's 30? Well, he doesn't get to that stage at such a young age because he has a very hectic lifestyle. He gets to that position at such a young age because he's got incredible focus and he's organized and he concentrates on making sure that his life is extremely simple and manageable so he can make good decisions and always has a clear head. And you know, Raj himself, uh, he'll be hanging around later on the final day. You should actually talk to him about it. Sure. It's something that he has, a, has an incredible insight into. So chat to him. He'll give you some good insights on that. With this kind of outlook of organizing your personal life and your trading life, uh, and creating a scenario where things are quite simple, okay? Think about it like this. Um, when you put a trade on, you're looking at the trade in a way of, does it add any value? Is it going to make me money? Is it high probability to make me money? And it's the same in, in your personal life. You know, personal relationships, for example. Like if you go on a date with a girl twice, uh, do you see yourself uh, being with this girl long term? Is she adding value to you? Is she adding value to your life? Uh, if you meet new friends, are they adding any value to your life? Do uh, family members add value to your life or are they a liability on your life? You know, making sure that your personal life reflects your trading life and vice versa is extremely important because if someone's not adding value to your life in any way and they become a liability, you have to cut them because that's going to actually affect your trading decisions and you could end up with decision fatigue and make bad decisions in your trading life because your personal life is not organized. Just look at it like this. People who screw their personal lives up, screw their trading lives up and vice versa. People who screw their trading lives up always screw their personal lives up. They have to run in parallel with each other and you have to manage them to be really focused and really straightforward and simple. Does it add value or does it take away value? And if you manage that well, you'll be a great trader.